Hey guys, welcome back to 5 Dose Speedworks. This is a real-time update here. Gilly and I are still at it. We haven't given up on this channel. It's just been a crazy six or what, seven, eight, nine, nine however many months it's been. But as you're watching this, uh, obviously there's a video coming out. So as you can see, there's another project going on. Uh, we'll get into that one in later videos. But I just want to say that we're back. We're making videos and uh, coming out, we have lots of stuff to cover. So. Uh, enjoy the rest of the, the finishing of the Wrecked Cobra project, and uh, we'll get on to some new stuff. So, let's get on with the video. Hey guys, welcome back to 520 Speedworks. In this episode, we are going to install the interior into this uh, Factory 5 Roadster. So, uh, with this episode, we're going to install the seats. We are going to install the seat belts. We're going to install the dash, the speakers, and all that kind of good stuff. And we're going to start off from the very beginning. We're going to get this thing aligned so we can get it driven. So thanks for being with us, and let's get started. Alright guys, just walked into the shop, you saw the intro, uh, working on cars is one of those things where it's sometimes it just tries your patience, as with any hobby, as with kind of anything in life, it just tries your patience, but I walked into the shop today and this is what I found. Yes, that right there. Is a ginormous crack. Goes from the bottom of the windshield to the top. These cars are, I wouldn't say prone to it, but it is not uncommon for the windshields to crack in them. Um, with ours, probably even more prevalent. We may not have gotten the uh, complete twist out of the frame or whatnot. So, uh, or the, grass, uh, the glass was just compromised to begin with. So just when you're trying to finish up and button up, it's gonna throw something else at you. We have a car show that we're trying to get to. It's first one in two and a half weeks. So just another thing on the plate, but we're gonna get it done. But let's get started with this uh, video. All right guys, uh, seat belts that we're using or harnesses or whatever you wanna call them. Uh, they're Corbos. We uh, wanted to do something. This is what I put on the green car. The reason we like them is they come in this really nice bag, but the main reason that we changed to these instead of the Simpsons is we wanted to go with a uh, cam lock style. So instead of having to put everything and hold everything together, these simply just click and lock. So and then to release, it just twists the thing. So yeah, this is the... So this is the center strap or side belts, uh, submarine belt, and then two chest belts. So that's uh... a... Alright guys, I thought this was pretty cool. The camera just can't decide what color this car is. Alright, one of the joys about working with yourself is that uh, there's nobody to talk to. And then I'm filming and I forget that I need to tell you guys what's going on so basically here I'm by the cell by myself trying to get the seat belts figured out like what will look good how they need to sit in the car get the lengths right so this is just me positioning all this stuff out because um, once we do this it'll let me get the lengths I can see where I need to be um, and hold them up to the back of the car um, this is a long fiddly process but you know it ended up real nice at the end All right, now the fun part of putting it all together. Also, while you do this, you contemplate your life choices. You stare off into space, and you make these really funny faces.
Hells yeah, guys, that was uh, that was not as hard as I thought it was gonna be, but I'm glad it's over. Hopefully we won't have to do any kind of tweaks here and there, but uh, yeah, rear seat belts are in. Uh, we're now gonna put the speaker grill across the back. I gotta extend some wires first for the speakers, and uh, then we'll go with that. All right, guys, we've got uh, our speaker wires here ready. Got them cut, got tied back. All seat belts are in. It is now time to put in the speaker grill. So, um, we showed you how we did this. We we'll pop out the front, set that aside. Just like this. normal ace run because I'm out of screws yeah that speaker grill I can't believe how good that looks it's like bad, it? man that looks really good is it velcro in there no it's a uh, it's magnetic oh it just magnetized it and there's these two things and then I put these little yeah. dowels so that it doesn't crush all the way in probably gonna come back and paint well you can't see it so now it may not paint it like I thought it was the wind won't try to blow it out of there will it I, uh, if you hold it upside down and shake it, if you hold it upside down and shake it, it'll fall out. But if you hold it like, like it sits right here, you can yeah. shake the shit out of it. Nope, it stays in. I don't know what to see. Yeah, thank you. Thank if it comes down to it, we can take the screws out. Oh, thank you. And we can glue, we can glue magnets where the screws are. Yeah. And that way it'll be like super, super bonded. All right, so bezels in, speaker grill in. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna work on putting the center console in. Uh, so we're gonna get the shifter put on, and uh, then we'll work up and putting the uh, front speakers in. All right, guys. So we got this really cool shifter uh, it's for a Mustang so the angles not right if you use the stock mounting holes but uh, we just took ours we took the old one took ours and we lined them up and just re-drilled new holes and it basically gives us the same angle so that's what we're gonna do
This one's temporary, but we're going to find a better one. How good does that look? All right guys, final step on installing the uh, interior of this Factory 5 Cobra. So uh, we've got the seats, we've got all the seat belts in, we've got the speakers in that made it easier, we've got the center console in. So let's show you some of that stuff. So seat belts, we're all in. We're gonna do the passenger side first. Center console's in. Speaker and speaker grill, back speaker and speaker grill in. So we're ready to put the uh, seats in. So let's get it done. Hells yeah, guys. Interior is done. I mean, we gotta order a uh, shifter knob, but that, I just haven't found the one I want yet. But yeah, the interior is done and it looks smoking good. Heck yeah, that's how you install the interior into a Factory 5 Cobra.